Tonight, your story is about a little bird, and it's not Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> that was five years ago. It was a major craze in Kenya. We're talking about the quail. Well, 48-year-old Pius Omwanda learned the art of rearing quail since he was 11 years old. Mm. Well, this story, The Bird Man, was suggested by Jeremiah Orondo, an environmentalist from Kosele. To catch a quail is an art. For 37 years, Pius Omwanda, who lives in Homer Bay, has mastered this art. Here in Kachian village, Kasipul, in Homer Bay. Tango mwaka tamanina mbili mpaka leo, mi badu iku na sijawai kupoteza hata. He rises before the sun. He sets traps on the ground, scatters seed which will lure the quail into them. But his real secret is the woven trap known as the Sigol. The quail birds are then raised up in what is popularly known as Tal, the long pole which carries the singing birds. Pius knows why the caged bird sings. Bird songs are often sung to attract other birds. The quails in the Sigol give a quail bird call that attracts other quail into the traps laid on the ground. <laughs> In 2014, the quail craze was at its peak in Kenya. Many farmers went into it, buying quail and waiting for them to reproduce and sell them as meat or their eggs for profit. One egg went for 100 shillings and dropped to as low as 20 shillings in later months. But Pierce was a quail farmer before the craze came and was still a quail farmer after the craze. It's the legacy he wants to leave his children. But here in Kachin, they don't call Pius the bad man for nothing. With his savings from the quail farming, he has expanded his poultry. He's currently constructing a new three-bedroom brick house and believes that someday he will transform the whole village by using his resources from the quail farm. Dorka Swangira, Citizen TV, Your Story.